Hey, hi, hey. Welcome back to My Life on a Budget. Today, y'all, is Thursday, October the 26th. Your girl is trying to get caught up for this week, okay? September, I'm sorry, October the 23rd through the, looks like the 29th, you guys. So, your girl just trying to get some stuff like finished okay i am in this current week so your girl wants to go ahead and set things up because baby this week is pumping and jumping it's already thursday so if you want to hear me run my mouth and all that good stuff and set up this week's catch up with me then stay tuned Boom, y'all, if you stay tuned, then clearly that means you are interested in going ahead and doing some catchy uppie with your girl. Yes, y'all. First things first, let's get the pleasantries out the way, shall we? Hey, y'all. Hey, welcome back to any and all of my returning budget bays. I'm so glad y'all decided to come back and chill with your girl. Y'all already know it is love, love, love when it comes to you guys, okay? And if you are new around here, then hey, y'all. Hey, welcome, welcome, and welcome, okay? I'm so glad you stopped by. If you enjoy it over here, please make sure you do not forget to hit that like button, okay? That goes for my return your budget base as well. If y'all like the video, please, please, please hit the like button. It does help my channel float around, and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you are new here, not only hit that like button, if you like it, hit that subscribe button, okay? And that notification bell. I don't think I always say notification bell, but if y'all hit the notification bell, you know it'll let y'all know when your girl posts new videos, okay? And new content, all right? So that's the little situation. And then on my last video, I'm not really sure how these videos will play out. But on my last video, I had asked you guys if you how you guys felt about me changing up the photo of, of the video schedule. Instead of me doing like three to four videos per week and no videos on the weekends. Or would you prefer if I did videos drop the video every other day and if it falls on the weekend it falls on the weekend that way you guys can have a little time to kind of catch up or how do y'all feel about that y'all let me know y'all let me know how y'all feel about that and um especially my my budget base my it's the ones that um we converse back and forth please make sure how y'all let me know how y'all feel about that because i'm thinking about changing up some stuff as far as the way that i post these videos okay now um I have a lot of books out, y'all. I got a lot of books out just because I don't know exactly what I'm looking for this week. I am not going to do the full Halloween. Like, I need to do a Halloween spread because I do got some stuff for Halloween, y'all. But I'm just not feeling no Halloween spread right now. If I do anything for Halloween, I feel like I'm just going to do it... Um on that particular day and that particular week and then we're gonna be done with that okay we're gonna be done with that but i do have my paper out for my to-do list okay so we're gonna use this for the to-do list this color for the to-do list this week this is my letters that we're gonna be using of course we're gonna move that over there to the side because we're not on that right now we also have already started filling out our weekly meal plan but we'll talk about that when we're when we're doing what we're doing and then i have this happy new year for a book from Happy Planner. We're going to be using the fall section. I'm still in my fall vibes, but my main store I wanted to use, y'all, was this, this Disney uh, Mickey and Minnie book, y'all. This book is so cute. I'm going to be using these right here for my to-do little tab, so I know for a fact I kind of want to give a Mickey Mouse vibe. I do love the dark colors that it has in this, and so I feel like it'll mesh very well with the fall, but it does not have any type of like boxes or anything, y'all. So just in case, I did get bring this box, this book out, which I don't know if I'm going to use this book just because the flowers are kind of bright. I don't know if I'm going to use this book, but I also pulled out this colorful boxes book too because it does have some darker colors that I could probably use, you know, like that orange and stuff that I could probably use to kind of mesh with what we have going on here. So we'll see what we have. Y'all know I don't know what I'm going to be doing, y'all. Y'all know I don't know what I'm going to be doing, y'all. So, I mean, we're going to just see what it what, We're going to see what it's giving and what's what and what's going on, okay? 
And in the meantime, in between time, of course, your girl is going to be running her little mouth. Y'all know how I do that. Let me get one more, one more thing for my middle part because y'all know I need some middle part. So we'll just go back to Old Faithful and we're going to be using the thousand plus totally adored sticker book, blah, 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 because you know I got plenty of stuff in there, okay? Okay, so let's talk about, oh, what pen do we want to use, y'all? I know for a fact that I want some kind of pen, but you know what I think I'm going to use, y'all? Because it's been a little minute. Oh, uh-huh. We're going to pull out these, baby. We're going to pull out these boogers right here, okay? And we're going to use us a dark color for this week, okay? I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to use this color that's right here, or maybe I'll try this one, or maybe that purple, the metallic -y. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, y'all. That's what we're doing, okay? So, yeah. Um. Anyway, so y'all, this week is the week. Y'all have been catching a couple of my videos. Remember this? I, I was... Where were y'all in? Hold on. Yeah. I had a couple interviews that I've been praying on and stuff like that. Probably by the time y'all will see this video, I would know one way or the other. <laughs> if I'm in or if I'm out, child. I know if I'm in or if I'm out, child. So it is what it is. I, you know, your girl won't, your girl is very much so excited. I was excited that they called me back. So quickly, especially on Monday, I had the initial interview on Monday at 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, like I was telling y'all, it went really well. That interview itself just went so good. And I was like, oh, that was a good interview, you know. But of course, your girl didn't want to put too much on it. Because remember the last time. Remember the last time, y'all. So, you know, and even now, I don't even know what the situation is. We just kind of in a waiting type of thing. So, we just waiting. But your girl did have a good time on the interview. And, you know, I felt like we meshed very well, y'all. I really did. So, they ended up calling me right back again. Like I told you guys on other videos. So, this probably is, you know, I'm not going to go all back off into it. But they called me again, y'all. Um, that same day and had a, and wanted to have an interview with me on that Tuesday. So I don't remember if I talked about that particular interview so we could converse about that a little bit. And that's what we'll talk about for this little story time. And then, you know, we'll go from there. But let me finish filling this out real quick. My top priorities this week is going to be to... Okay, so yeah, so clearly, girl, they want to come and cut your girl's grass or whatever, child. Papa must need the people come and cut your girl's grass, child, because they out there, that's what y'all hear. Outside, they decide to cut our grass right now, y'all, okay? But anyway, my main goals for this particular week were, yeah, for this particular week that we were in, you guys, is going to be just to clean my, I wanted to clean my, um, downstairs area my downstairs area needs to be swept and it needs to be mopped y'all and i need to wipe down my wood and i need to you know just do some stuff to, to kind of get your house back you know how you gotta do you y'all know how you gotta do y'all just to refresh on your house i was supposed to do it yesterday but i ended up going walking with king yesterday y'all first of all let's back up <laughs> Your girl is back trying to get on her walking, okay? Because the weather has went down. The, the, the temperature has kind of went cooled down a little bit. So it is not as cold. I mean, it's not as hot as it has been in Texas or in Houston, I should say, y'all. And so, baby, your girl been trying to take advantage of this. So me and King, baby, have been going walking. We didn't go walking today, but for the last two days, we have been walking one mile, y'all. I'm trying to get back up to three miles. At least three miles a day. And I feel like I can. But anyway, when I came in yesterday, y'all, my, like, allergies come to bed. And Papa was the one who ended up telling me that it was, like, my allergies. Because I, I told him, I was like, Papa, I came back in the house from our walk. And I was just sick. I felt nauseous. I felt, like, very bad. Like, and I had this headache that I just could not get past i don't know what was going on but papa was like yeah that such and such was high he told me what was high because you know i'm one of the people i don't even know what i'm allergic to y'all i just know your girl allergies get the going on the fritz baby 
They get to going on a fritz. And your girl be sick as a doll. Your girl get to snorting and carrying on, baby. It is just so unpleasant, baby. It is very unpleasant for your girl. I'm not going to lie to you about that, okay? I'm not going to lie to you about that. But, um... I was like, you know what? You're right, Papa, because I did take some medicine even when I was on, you know, when I went to worship yesterday. I was like, see, Lord, they're trying to make me not go to worship. But I said, I'm going to worship. Not worship, Bible class. I'm going to Bible class because, baby, your girl been missing Bible class for the last few weeks. Okay. Okay, let's keep it. Okay, let's keep it above. Your girl been missing Bible class for the last few weeks now. So I was like, no, nah, I got to get my butt to Bible class because, you know, once you, you know, you get out of habit of going, then it's going to be much easier for me not to attend. Okay. You, you, week number one, you be so worried about, oh, I missed it. I missed it. Week number two, you feel bad. Like, man, I got to get back. By week number three, it don't feel as bad. Hello. Girl, please, y'all already know your girl gonna keep it real, baby. You don't feel as bad, so your girl don't want to get off into that type of mode. I definitely uh, want to make sure that, you know, I am keeping, trying to stay as positive as I can. And one of the things that helps me with that is definitely uh, Bible class. Okay? Definitely Bible class. So, anyway, uh, now let's talk about it. So, the, so the interview, y'all. Okay, I really low key. I really feel like I don't need to be talking about it too much because I don't know. I just don't. What if they don't give it to me? Oh, it is what it is. What happened was I really like, if they don't give it to you, then y'all just keep looking for a job. <laughs> That's true. Well, shoot. What I mean if they don't give it to me, shit, they don't give it to me, girl. That just mean I'm still looking for a job. But it did go so well. The second interview, you know, was uh, more of like them asking questions about my management past. Kind of what would you do if and how would you handle this and, you know, what would be the priority for that. So, you know, I mean, I just kind of told them what it was. So, I mean, it is what it is, y'all. I just told them what it was. And then it was, yes. Now, like I was telling Papa, I said, now that would have been nice if they was trying to call your girl back and tell me, you got the job. Girl, but the people were coming back and tell me like they got the job. Child. The people was telling me that um, basically I, what they told me, y'all? Basically that I was up against the other people, up against some old people, but they, that I made it to round two. So congratulations, y'all. Okay, that's basically what that was about, child. Congratulations. And we went on to the to the thing when they said, well, thank you so much for, you know, taking the time out to do what, you know, come to do the interview with us and stuff like that. We knew it was just on short notice and we knew we had called you back on short notice and blase, blase, blase. And I was like, of course, you know, it's no problem. We talked for another maybe like 35 minutes, 40 minutes this time. Instead of uh, the hour, but it was it was a good conversation. The lady was just kind of like asking. Um, let's use this one, y'all. I think I'm gonna use this one to write on that. Hopefully, it writes okay. But you know, she just was kind of asking her questions. The only thing that kind of like was like to me that I had my eyes open in was that. The lady that was, one of the ladies that was interviewing me. Let me see how that looks on camera, y'all. I wonder, can y'all see that? I'm moving in just in case. But anyway, the one of the ladies that was interviewing me, she literally said she just got to the company two months ago. Mm-hmm. Two months ago, child. And so, you know, that, it, that says to me, are y'all cleaning house? It, 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 it. it Honestly, y'all, it, it asks a lot of questions to me. It says like, okay, because this is an upper kind of upper management position. So for me, if y'all are at this point getting new upper management, I wonder did they make this job for her or was it a need or what was the situation that kind of was like, you know, um... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say that it was a problem or whatever. It's not necessarily that it's a problem. It's just a question in my mind. Like, what happened to the old people? 
You know, because you know how sometimes these companies, they clean house and then they try to get other people in. Normally, they don't clean house with upper management. You know, they'll clean house with people that's been there already. So I kind of went back and looked at some of their reviews or whatever, and they were saying that they did, they did have some layoffs, which that's understandable because a lot of companies did have layoffs. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, mm, I want to be cognizant of that too because your girl wants to be at a company that I can like kind of grow with and stay with. And if they getting rid of their upper management too, mm, I don't know y'all. I don't know. But again, like I said, you know, if, it, if, 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 if it's meant to be, I, you know, it'll be. It's going to be what it's going to be. But at the same time, I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. So I didn't get to ask the other lady that was interviewing me how long she had been there because I'm interested to find that out and that will kind of tell me some other stuff as well. But it was really cool. You know, they, they were kind of asking just asking regular details as far as what would you do, this, that, or third. You know, how do you feel about these? How, you know, random questions about that. Just basically more so into my management style as opposed to like if I know what I'm doing, if that makes sense. So... So, yeah, so, um, you know, it was cool. I just kind of kind of told him what it was and how I am as far as a management goes, because as far as I am, I do kind of make sure that I stay on track with the fact that, hello, girl, you was a worker, too. So for me, I try to uh, keep that in mind when I'm when I am. I'm someone else's manager that, you know, I kind of treat people the way that I want to be treated, if that makes sense, y'all. Okay, your girl, your girl is heavy on to treat people the way you want to be treated, babe. For real. Because, you know, it's all about the way that you come to people. And like I tell my babies all the time, or especially my eldest because she's still here to listen. You know, you can say anything you want to me, right? But it's the way you say it. Hello. My mama used to be heavy on the old, oh, don't say a word. No, I knew for a fact when I had kids that that was one of the things that I was going to change, basically allowing my kids to be able to speak. But at the same time, it's respect is required now. Okay? Respect is required. So, for me, I don't mind you having an opinion or even asking me questions because leave me something down in the comment if you grew up in the old school where it was like, baby, you don't ask me no questions. I tell you what to do, you do it. You don't ask me why. You don't ask me none of that. My mama didn't do it. Girl, no. Questions? Girl, go do what I told you to do. Question that bell. So I knew for a fact I didn't want to like be beating on my kids though. At the same time, I knew that they needed that you're gonna have to chastise them. You know what I'm saying? Spare the rod, spoil the child. That's in the Bible. So you have to chastise your kids. You need to give them some sort of like repercussions for them doing things in order for them to understand what's going on. Right? So I understand this general parenting, and I, and I understand general parenting, but I understand general parenting to a certain extent. Right, we ain't got to cuss and fuss and yell and scream and do all the extra stuff that maybe our parents did to me. My, now, my mama didn't cuss me out, so I'm just saying that it, out loud. My mama, didn't, my, my mama actually rarely cursed. However, she didn't have to curse in order to get what she was trying to tell you in that nasty way across to you. She was real good with that tongue. Okay, so though she didn't cuss, she might as well would have cussed you out. Because of the stuff that be coming up out of her mouth, even though it's not curse words, okay? Hello. I mean, I, let's talk about it, okay? But at the same time, I knew that I didn't want to do that to my children. And the other thing I didn't, I wanted them to be able to ask me stuff or to ask me why or to even have a voice, their opinion, like, I don't like this. Or can we do this? Or why do you do this? Or whatever the case may be. I don't mind that so much, but it's it, at the way at which you deliver it. Hello. And I think that this TikTok and the internet has these kids confused to think that you that I'm your friend. I see I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. See, I'm your mama. I, now, we can be cool, but I ain't your friend. Period. Period. I'm not your friend, baby. I'm here to give you production for the outside world. I'm not here to be your friend and do stuff that appease you, do stuff that, 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 that you like. Tell you all the stuff that make you warm and fuzzy. No, 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 no. My job is to let you know the reality. 
hello or the situation and then you go out and you you know be who you gonna be my job is to make you be a decent person my, my job is to teach you right from wrong my job is not to, 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 to ooh la la and kiki with you babe it's not to make you feel good right because sometimes direction don't feel good sometimes constructive criticism don't feel good. You see what I'm saying? So I'm here to give you that constructive criticism. I'm not here to say, oh girl, you want to go jump off the lake? Jump! Yes! Jump! I'm not hurt. I'm going to be like, girl, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Why would I jump off the lake? That's me. I'm not going to be like, girl, let's do it! No, I'm not her. Uh-uh. If you're looking for her, baby, that's not, that's not me, baby. Find somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean you know it's it was it was a very much so good little talk and basically she just was kind of letting me know that she would let me know what happened or you know let me know one way or the other um let me know one way or the other by the end by the end of the month. You know, she said she'll let everybody know by the end of the month. They don't ghost people or anything like that. And then she would let us know one way or the other. And I feel like that that's fine. Let me know one way or the other. Even if it's a no, I don't want it to be a no. But if it's a no, your girl can take a no. At least I'm not sitting around waiting and then nobody ever calls. They actually she actually plans on calling. So yeah. Um, let me because I've already been talking for 21 minutes, y'all. Let me kind of fast forward with this. It, I thought I would be able to, to kiki with y'all a little bit more, but I feel like it's kind of taking up a lot of the video. So let me get through with this, and then we can see where we are, okay? guys i am in love with the way that this is looking i kind of have a lot going on but i'm not mad at it i am in love with kind of what's going on my life kind of incorporated everything that's going on it would have been nice if i had some small like mickey mouse stickers or whatever to go right there that would have really probably brought it all together but you know it is what it is y'all your girl did what she had to do today is thursday so i'm wanting to record a video edit a video and set up a video to post i also need to do some cleaning today that i didn't get done yesterday so i'm in love with this i don't want to do too much just in case i need to add something for <clears throat> either one of these days i think my weekend is free this week so yeah i think i'm just going to be chilling this week so my husband may be gone but i'm going to be right here y'all all right then we already talked about well we didn't talk about our weekly meal plan but here is our weekly meal plan today we're going to be doing pulled pork sliders okay i have some pulled pork that i got from sam's i'm going to dress it up and we're going to do some pulled pork sliders today okay so that's what we're going to have yesterday we did fit for ourselves because y'all already know your girl went to bible class so, okay your girl went to bible class so it's heavy, heavy, heavy on the fin for yourself, okay? Now, right here, we're about to do our to-do list really quick. Let's set up our to-do list. Uh, I was looking for a little to-do situation. I'm thinking... Okay, and I already told you guys that we're going to be using these Mickey Mouse... 
uh, things for our dots for this week. We're going to do our to-do list really quick. This is the last, last, last page in this book, in my brain dump book or my random notes book, y'all. I cannot believe that I got done with this book already. I think this book is maybe like a year or two old or maybe like almost two years old i'm not really sure but yeah i'm glad that i'm finishing i'm gonna be moving over into my new book that i received uh i'm gonna use this hello i'm sorry gonna use this star wars book for my new book but anyway this is what we got for our to-do list let's do our to-do list really quick of course we're gonna be using these letters right here for the to-do and uh let's I'm going to fast forward you guys because, of course, we need to write this stuff down and then we can talk about it. And then this particular video will be yours, okay? This particular video will be yours, y'all. So, let's go ahead and do that. This should be good to go as far as my to-do list goes. Okay, let's pull out a pen and then let's mark this up. And let's see what we have. And this particular video <clears throat> will be yours. Um, I think I did really cute. I, I like it. I, I really like it. I need to just use up some stickers. And so that's the situation on that, y'all. Okay? All right, so number one, reconcile my accounts. We're going to check that because we try to do that every month, every Monday, all right? Um, the next one tells me clean up my bathroom, which I already did that. Clean it up. I've swept. I've mopped. That has been done. So, yes, go on to that. And then the next one says clean my downstairs area, which is my plan for today. So, that has not been uh, done. We want to sweep it, mop it, change the air fresheners, things of that nature. Uh, Bible class. I did go to Bible class on yesterday. So, yes, God. Uh, clean my office. I still need to clean my office. So, maybe tomorrow that, that could be done. Um, report bill pay number one and number two. I have did that. I need to... Actually, I think I have edited that video and posted it, actually. Okay. Um, edit catch up with me video from the 9th through the 15th. I definitely need to edit that video. I don't know why I checked that because... That's actually going to be one of the videos I'm going to be editing today. So maybe I can check it, but we're going to leave it off. Um, record catch up with me video. This is the video we're recording right now. I need to edit and post it. Take time to journal this week. I did start journaling. I journaled yesterday. I'm going to check it. I want to journal again. Make sure you know journal at least two times this week or three times. Call T-Mobile to make sure everything has been sit, uh, situated and flipped over. I did that on yesterday. That has been done. Email Archer concerning my latest commission. have done that. Email Excellence concerning the shortage on the commission that I received. I've done that. Send follow-up email to the guest services. I've done that or concerning our Barbados transportation. Email guests with the updated transfer information. I've done that. Research Foster's Bahamas trip. I have done that. That email has been sent. And then record week number three transaction log, edit and post. I did record the video. I have not edited the video, nor have I posted it yet, but that is on my to-do list to do. Okay. So this is how we're looking so far, you guys. Super duper, uber, uber cute. I am in love with the way that everything is coming out. Let's go ahead and put everything back in our, in our planner. Okay, and this particular video will be y'all's, honey. This particular video will be y'all's. So let's uh, move you guys in. Make sure you can see. All right, so boom. So we're doing this week. So we're right here in the week for the 23rd. 
plop it right in there through the 29th. Okay, the next week, we only got two days, so I'm going to, um, you know, do this for Halloween. We'll make this page Halloween since we got so much extra space. Okay, and then we're going to put our, hold on, where is our meal tracker at? It's right here. Put the meal tracker in there just like that. And then last but not least, we're going to be putting our to-do list, you guys. So that is how that is looking. Put our little coffee paper clip right here to let us know where we are. Okay, and that is how that is looking, you guys. I am in love with how everything is kind of flowing and meshing together, you guys, okay? So, if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please do not forget to hit the like button. I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. It does help my channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you are new over here, not only hit the like button, but also hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you guys over here with the budget base, okay? Keep me in prayer, and until next time, you guys, my life on a budget. Bye. Bye.